Welcome. Today we're going to talk about some advanced English. Today we have a C1 advanced class, and we're going to learn how to talk about um, how to talk about the future from the past, or how to narrate the future from the past. Now, this is a very uh, interesting uh, grammar structure. There are very interesting grammar structures, advanced grammar structures that we're going to talk about. I'll give you some examples, and this is mostly used. When, when writers, writers usually use this when they want to, um, you know, talk about future, when they want to make reference to the future, but from a perspective from the past, from a past perspective, okay? Now, we're going to talk about uh, famous people, famous personalities, and uh, usually you would find this type of style, this type of writing, and usually you would find this usually within uh, biographies or, or that type of, uh, those type of, of uh, books and whatnot, right? So um, these are the structures that we're going to work with. We're going to have was, were, plus the infinitive. The infinitive is a verb that's followed by the verb in the base form, by a verb in the base form, by two, and the verb in the base form. Could, I mean, excuse me, would plus go on plus the infinitive is the other structure we'll use. Would later, which is a modal, modal like form, would later plus the base form of the, of the verb. Be destined. Uh, plus the infinitive, and would go on plus the infinitive. Okay, so let's take a look at the first structure. In the first example, we have the Beatles were to become the most influential band. So let's say, just imagine uh, you're watching a documentary about the Beatles, and in some part of the documentary, uh, the narrator um, made a reference to how the band in the future, right? Let's let's say that the Beatles. I'll give you some background. The Beatles started as a small, unpopular band, um, but later on, right? Uh, the Beatles were to become the most influential rock band ever. So, within that context of the of the documentary, you would hear them uh, talk about the band, but also making predictions or or not predictions, but in this case, talking about how they would um, become famous in the future, right? So here's the structure that we are going to use. So here we'll have the Beatles, which is the, the subject. Here we'll have the form of uh, a B. We'll use were, because we got a plural subject. Then we'll have the infinitive, which would be the use of the two, preposition two, and the verb in the base form. Were to become, were to become, uh, would be the, the structure there. So the Beatles were to become the influential band, uh, they were to become super rich, they were to become incredibly famous, etc. right? So that's a structure that we can use to talk from a perspective of the, in the past, within the past, to talk about the future. Here's another structure that we can use. We can use would plus go on plus the infinitive. Um, of course, everybody knows about Michael Jordan, the famous uh, basketball player. Um, Michael Jordan would go on to win six championships. So let's say that you're reading Michael Jordan's biography, and perhaps at the beginning of the biography, um, they would make reference to, you know, he was a, he was a normal kid. Uh, he wasn't popular. Um, actually, when his first uh, when he started playing basketball, he wasn't really that good. Uh, but later on, Michael jo Michael Jordan uh, would go on to win six. Uh, championships. So we're talking about his life in the past, but making a reference to the future. Of course, the future that we already know. He would go on to win six champions, championships. So here we have would go on, which would be the modal like form uh, of the verb. Uh, then followed by the infinitive. The infinitive again is the two plus the verb in the base form to win. Would go on to win would go on to conquer the world of basketball, would go on to uh, become a very successful athlete. Okay, so that's the second structure that we can use. A third structure here would be to use would later plus the base form of the verb. So here's an example. The poor man would later grow up to become a rich, uh, or would later grow up to become rich, to be rich. So here we have um, 
let's say this, this is the story, a biography of a guy that was poor and eventually became uh, rich. Let's say uh, somebody like Robert Kiyosaki, a poor dad, rich dad. He was a poor Hawaiian kid, uh, you know, but would later grow up to become a successful, rich entrepreneur, right? So here we got the model like structure would later, right, followed by the verb in the base form, would later grow, later grow up, would later invest, would later buy uh, buildings, would later uh, write the famous book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Okay, so that's the structure, would later grow up. Um, here's another great uh, structure here, be destined plus the infinitive. Let's talk about Steve Jobs, right? Um, Steve Jobs, a famous entrepreneur. Um, Steve Jobs was destined to change the world. He was destined to change the world. So perhaps we're watching a, a documentary about Steve, uh, Steve Jobs. And in some point of the documentary, they mentioned that nobody expected this kid, uh, this guy, um, you know, working from his garage and whatnot. This just crazy guy working from his garage uh, was destined, right? Was destined to change the world. Um, let's say Steve Jobs, after he introduced the smartphone and introduced the personal computer and all of those great things, uh, he was destined. He was destined to change the world. Okay. So here we have the structure. Uh, be destined. We're going to use the 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 be form here, which is was was destined in the infinitive. To verb in the base form was destined to change, was destined to uh, bring happiness uh, to the world with his technology, was destined to become a millionaire, was destined to uh, be famous, etc. So it's a great way of um, you know of uh, from the past from a past point perspective to talk about future events. Okay, would go on. This is a good, this is a good one. Would go on plus the infinity. Okay, so let's talk about Einstein, Albert Einstein, right? I think he was a sales patent clerk. Wasn't popular, he was just a normal guy. He was a sales patent uh, clerk at first, but after he quit his job as a clerk patent, Einstein would go on to become a Nobel Prize winner in, in, in physics, okay? So, that's a great example here. Um, let's say that you're watching a documentary or reading about Einstein's life. That would be a biography. Uh, here we would have would go on is the verb like form followed by the infinitive, of course, which is to and the verb in the base form. Would go on to be a normal prize winner. Would go on to um, right or would go on to develop the theory, the, the, the theory of relativity, uh, would go on to becoming, would, would, would go on to become a famous uh, physicist, would go on to change the world with his ideas, you know? So there you go. So if you guys want to talk about the past, if you guys want to, excuse me, want to talk about the future from the perspective of the past, and this works great for biographies, documentaries, when you're, when you're reading the story of somebody's life. Um, these, are, these tenses are, are awesome for that, okay? So if you guys want to talk about the future from a perspective of the past, um, you can use these five structures. Number one, was, were, was the infinitive. The Beatles were to become the most influential band, two, would go on plus the infinitive. Michael Jordan would go on to win six championships. Would later plus the base form. The poor man would later grow up to be a rich entrepreneur. Be destined plus the infinitive. Steve Jobs was destined to change the world. Would go on plus the infinitive. Starting out as a sales patent clerk, um, you know, after, after he quit his job as a sales patent clerk, Einstein would go on to be a Nobel Prize winner. So these are the advanced tenses I wanted to share with you guys today.
We're going to go ahead and uh, write some of your examples on the board. Okay. The topic is we're talking about famous personalities, famous people that everybody knows about or has heard something about. And you guys are going to give me examples uh, using these tenses. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, great. So we've got your examples on the board. We're talking about famous artists, musicians, and we're going to give you some examples using these structures. We're narrating the past. Um, the, we're narrating the future from the past. So, for instance, uh, we're talking about these people: Messi, Robert Kiyosaki, Barack Obama, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Pantera, the heavy metal band. So. Um, we're going to talk about their perspective, uh, their, their past, but we're going to use this language to talk about their future successes, their future successes, right? So, for instance, uh, Messi wants to become the best soccer player in the world. So, you could say something like, he started at an age of uh, three years old, four years old, and he was to become the best soccer player in the world. So, we're talking about... Uh, how he started and his future success, right? Um, using this language. Here's another example. Would go on plus the infinity. After Robert Kiyosaki lost his job, right? We're narrating. Imagine that you're reading his biography. He would go on to write the best financial book ever. So here, uh, we're starting from a point in the past. And from this past, here, when he lost his job, we're going to talk about the future, about his future success using would go on plus the two and the verb in the base would later plus the base form uh, of course uh, nobody expected that uh, the, the United States would have a black president right uh, but Barack Obama would later grow up to be the first black president so if you're reading his story or listening to his story at the beginning nobody expected it but let's talk about his future success would later uh, grow up would later plus the verb in the base form. Uh, be destined plus the infinitive. So here we're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo was destined to become the best player in the world. There's a dispute here between you guys. Um, but again, from his beginnings, from his beginnings, right? From his past, you could say he was a very dedicated athlete. He was very committed to training every day. And he was destined to become one of the most popular players in the world, okay? Was destined in the infinity to become. Would go on. Okay, so this was a great example provided by Lester here. Um, Pantera is a super heavy metal band, rock band, which is super famous. Um, but at the beginning, they had different beginnings. Pantera is known for playing extreme music, for, for playing extreme heavy metal. And for, and for having a rough attitude, you know? Um, but at the beginning, Pantera was not the rough, tough band that they became. They were actually a glam 80s heavy metal band. So could you imagine that? But in the future, right, we, if, we're, if you're watching the documentary, uh, Pantera, somewhere within the documentary, someone would say Pantera would go on to create the group metal genre they would go on to influence heavy music. They would go on to sell millions of records worldwide. So from their glam beginnings, from their glam beginnings, Pantera would go on to create the group metal genre. So here we have would go on, which is the modal like verb form, and two, the infinitive and the verb in the base form. Okay. Same here, we got was plus the infinitive and the verb in the base form, what's to become, okay? And that's how you guys can narrate uh, future events uh, from the past. That's how you do it, okay? So those are the structures. That's advanced English. Thank you. Thank you, sir.